Hello, welcome back to Homemade Collectibles channel. Today we're going to review something a little bit different. This is not my first, but um, probably my third Lego set I've ever bought. This is the Jurassic World 2020 Dilophosaurus on the Loose set. So let's go over the contents. It comes with three figures, Chris Pratt, a park worker, and some guy named Hudson Harper. Um, which I don't know if that's a movie character or not. Eight extra pieces. Comes with this drone vehicle with a net. The Dilophosaurus, of course, which is a brand new mold. Um, it's not new anymore. The set is actually a year old, a year old almost. And this nice little gift shop. So one of the reasons I bought this set was because... Excuse me while I get a drink. Um, the gift shop and the dinosaur. I don't care about the vehicle. The human figures are fine. Um, nothing really special except for maybe the park worker. And this little kid. He's uh, really smaller than the other ones. As you can see, here's a regular Lego figure. And here's a human. He has arm articulation, swivel at the hands. Um, articulation at the head. The hair, but no leg articulation because he's a kid. So he's supposed to be smaller. Um, they have interchangeable faces. He's got a happy and a worried face as the Dilophosaurus comes out. The park worker is also really nice. A Jurassic World official employee, scared and uh, pretty happy or pretty, you know, I'm at work, I'm tired mode, which I completely understand. Here's the Chris Pratt... He's got a smirk and a worried face. Uh, he's the one who's going to ride the helicopter. Here's the helicopter itself. This is a drone, which they have spinning wheels like this. Not really a big fan of this vehicle. Um, I don't really care about it too much. I'd rather could have done a motorcycle or a little cage more for the dinosaur. It does have a shooting net feature, which we'll show right now. Here's the dinosaur. And the net, you just fold over and push it in here and you push this button. And yeah, it's really freaking lame. Let's try that again. So you just fold that net, uh, push this in here. It goes in this little hole and Chris Pratt's flying and, uh, oh shit, that actually kind of worked. Okay. Of course, you're not killing the dinosaurs or capturing them. That's whole theme for Jurassic Park, Jurassic World thing. Um, you can put a human figure in here, um, and he just kind of holds for his life while he controls this little vehicle. Um, no other articulation on this vehicle except for maybe here. And there are stickers applied. Here's the bottom side. Like I said, it's not really interesting. It's not bad. The quality is pretty good, but it's just lame. This is one of the best parts is a gift shop. Um, a lot of cool details. You got two pieces for the popcorn, which they already have pre-applied stickers. You get these three little books or DVDs or whatever that you apply the sticker. It says Jurassic, picture of a dinosaur of the cage, and the map of Isna uh, Nublar. Can't say anything today. So really cool. You can put them in there. You can have an employee stand here as, uh, you know, she's making sales on items. You get hats here for sale, popcorn, books, and there's a sticker. It says coming soon with the uh, Indominus Rex picture for a second. And you have also the gift shop over here, the stand. So articulation on this thing. This thing can go up and down with the jaw. And same thing in the bottom. I like that it's a kind of a mouth of a dinosaur. So that's really cool. And the final piece here is the Dilophosaurus. This is one of the main reasons I got this for this dinosaur. And um, it's kind of disappointing because it's actually the size of the actual boxed image they showed of this not actually an actual size a little bit bigger but i was a little disappointed how small it was i mean i knew it's not going to be the you know like the raptors 
or the Packy Rhinosaurus, I mean the Stiggy Molochs, but it's kind of small, don't like it. Here's a human figure, but I guess that is accurate. So it's just on my fault, I didn't expect it to be that small. Um, sorry, let me get something to hold this. But the Dilophosaurus is quite nice. It's got a bendy tail. This here is all plastic. Only one other piece of articulation, which is just jaw, but I'm glad they included it. Really nice looking Dilophosaurus. Of course, it's got the stupid frills. You can't take it off or anything. Um, I like to just display him up here with the gift shop like that. As if it's like a giant dinosaur statue or Dilophosaurus has got above the roof. You can also put a human figure on top of him riding a Dilophosaurus to battle or something. So the set retailed for $20. It's not that price anymore. Um, overall, it's not a bad set. Um, Lego is very particular for me. I don't buy a lot of Lego stuff. There is a lot I like that they made, but they're just so expensive. But that's my review. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.